Welcome to Amarman.com. This is an introductory video on SAP Fiori. This video will meet the needs of anyone who wants to know about SAP Fiori. He may be an SAP consultant or someone new to SAP. Let's get started. So what is SAP Fiori? The term Fiori refers to collection of apps. Here we will highlight three important points about SAP Fiori. First, Fiori apps were created by SAP to give better user experience to SAP customers and end users in comparison to SAP's classical graphical user interface. Second, Fiori apps are responsive and work seamlessly on handheld devices like tablets and smartphones, as well as large screen devices like laptops and desktops. And third, all Fiori apps are user experience driven created based on SAP's user experience strategy. We will discuss about SAP's user experience strategy and design principles in later slides. Let's now discuss about evolution of SAP Fury. First, the first set of Fury apps were released in 2013. SAP had released 25 Fury apps. Later in 2016, SAP released Fury 2.0. Fury 2.0 was released as part of SAP S4 HANA. By 2016, the count of Fury apps had reached 2000s. In October 2018, SAP released Fury 3. Now, Fury 3 is based on Fury 2.0, but is enhanced to make it useful for other SAP cloud-based products like Ariba, SuccessFactor, Conquer, etc. At this moment, SAP has more than 11,000 apps spanning across all lines of business and user roles. Let's discuss SAP's user experience strategy. For Fury apps, SAP followed the strategy of new and renew and enable. As per the new strategy, SAP created brand new Fury applications to meet new business functions. With renew strategy, SAP took the task of renewing already existing business applications into Fury apps. Now, with Enable strategy, SAP gave its partners and customers all necessary tools and technologies for them to innovate and create Fury applications for their business functions. SAP made available state-of-the-art tools to create and innovate Fury applications. These are SAP Build, SAP Web ID, SAP Screen Personas, SAP Theme Designer, and SAP Fury Launchpad. Fury apps are based on five design principles. These five design principles are followed in every Fury app. These are role based, adaptive, simple, coherent, and delightful. I will switch to next slide to understand role based and then we will come back to this slide to understand other design principles. SAP Fury role based user experience. Role based is the biggest change that SAP has considered while creating Fury apps. What does role based mean in terms of Fury? It means that Fury apps are created such that end users get all information and functions that they need in their daily work, but nothing more than that. To meet role-based principle, SMP decomposed their classical and somewhat complex applications into simpler apps suitable for specific user roles. This is a big shift in application design concept compared to SAP's classical GUI applications. The classical GUI applications were function-oriented, the Fury apps are user oriented. Returning back to the previous slide, we just discussed about role based. Now we will discuss about other design principles. Adaptive. Adaptive means that Fury apps will be responsive and will work seamlessly across all devices, such as phones, tablets, and desktops. Simple means Fury apps will be simple in design and intuitive in use. Coherent. Coherent means all SAP Fury apps will have similar look and feel following consistent design principles. Delightful means Fury apps will have low barrier of adoption and will be fun to use. 
this leaves a positive user experience to their users yes user experience is very important and that is something we will discuss in this slide a good user experience will have monetary and human value monetary value involves increasing productivity reduced training costs decreased user errors and decreased change requests whereas human value involves increased user satisfaction low barrier of adoption increased customer loyalty and better it and business collaboration so these are certain human values that a fury or sap fury apps do touch this is our last slide and in this slide we will discuss about types of fury apps there are three types of fury apps these are transactional fact sheet and analytical apps transactional apps let you perform transactional tasks such as creating sales order by sales representative or leave application by an employee these are all examples of business transactions transactional apps were created to accomplish various business transactions transactional apps can run on any database but will best run on an sap hana database fact sheet apps fact sheet apps facilitate text search and display contextual information an important point about fact sheet apps is that they run only on sap hana database analytical apps analytical apps give real time insight into business operations by collecting and displaying key figures analytical apps require virtual data models and run only on sap hana database before we close our video it will be fun to see the first 25 fury apps that were released by sap so in this slide you can see the first 25 fury apps that were released by sap and all of them are transactional apps this slide shows how fury apps look like and the app that is in display over here is procurement overview app want to experience fury apps sap does provides a free sap es5 gateway server through which you can log in into fury launchpad and have a first hand experience of fury apps if you do not have a es5 account the article mentioned in this slide can help you create one thanks for listening to this video we have discussed the most important concepts of fury see you in the next